To me, the underclass events are almost the most important things that we do uh, because it gives us a head start in building a file on players. Uh, so when we can see a player when he's a freshman in high school or a sophomore in high school versus the first time we see him, he's a junior or a senior, uh, it gives us a big advantage in following him and tracking him and gathering information. And, and so from our standpoint, it's great. Uh, the, the, both the good and unfortunate thing, when, when we started these underclass things a few years ago. I'm pretty sure we were the first ones to really do it in a big way. And uh, I think the, whether you want to look at it as a good thing or a bad thing, I think it's kind of helped change the landscape of college recruiting and how things are done. And I, I think that now you'll see a lot more uh, juniors and even sophomores making verbal commitments to colleges that you didn't see quite so much uh, in baseball anyway in earlier years. So whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but it's, it's a sign of the times. And uh, for the kids themselves, uh, I think it, uh, you know, obviously for the very talented kids, uh, you know, it, it's pretty obvious how it helps them. The sooner people know about them, the more they can track them, the more, uh, you know, the, the, better, the more chances they're going to get for whatever's available out there through the draft or college. Uh, but I think even for all the other kids, it, it gives them an early chance to be evaluated and possibly see how they compare with, uh, with other kids from around the country rather than just where they play and to uh, have an idea of what's out there or maybe what they need to do to, to reach that level if they're not there already. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's really a good thing. I think it's a good thing for the kids and, and uh, you know, it's, a good, it, it's good for us to, to be able to have all that information because, I mean, that's what we are, is we're information hounds.